Now in this lesson we take a look at measuring mass in kilograms. Example. Let's consider this dog firstly. Now the dog has a mass of 22 kilograms. This small red car, well its mass, 1,150 kilograms. So that's a lot more. This canoe, it has a mass of 52 kilograms. And there's a young boy here bouncing on the trampoline with his sister. Let's have a look at each one. The girl has a mass of 25 kilograms. The boy has a mass of 34 kilograms. And the trampoline they're bouncing on only has a mass of 5 kilograms. Right, we're asked to find the total mass of the boy and the girl. Well, 34 kilograms for the boy, 25 for the girl. Let's add them together. We need to find the total. So, doing the units firstly, 4 plus 5 is 9. 3 plus 2 is 5. So the answer there, 59. So we're going to write total mass is 59 kilograms. Terrific. Next one, we're asked to find the total mass of the car, the canoe, and the dog. Okay, so a few things to add there. Well, the car has a mass of 1,150 kilograms. The canoe is 52. The dog, 22. So make sure when we add these up, we line them up like that. So from the ones or units column, 0 plus 2 plus 2 is 4. Our next column there, 5 and 5 is 10, plus 2 more is 12. So for 12, we put the 2 down and, of course, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, and we're only left with 1 there, so let's write that down. So the total there, total mass is 1,224 kilograms. This next one here, find the difference between the boy's mass and the trampoline's mass. Well, the word difference, that means we're going to subtract. So the boy's mass is 34. The trampoline's mass was only 5, so we're going to subtract 5. And that's pretty easy. 34 minus 5, we should be able to do that mentally. In other words, do it in our head. We get 29. So 29 is our answer. We're going to write the difference in mass is 29 kilograms. Excellent. Well, that concludes the lesson. Good luck with your questions.